I cannot keep up with these perfect moms. You know the moms I'm talking about, right? The moms who have their act together 24 seven. The moms who make perfect cupcakes. They have clean houses, clean cars. They do their kids' laundry and they actually iron it. <laughs> the moms whose hair is never out of place. They weigh less than their pre-pregnancy weight. <laughs> and in general are hated by most other moms. <laughs> These are the moms who have all the answers, all the frickin' answers to your unasked questions. <laughs> my first glimpse of the perfect mother was at a nursing mother's group I became a part of when my oldest was just seven weeks old. The perfect mother of this group said things like, I have been exclusively breastfeeding for the past six months. I pump so much that I can donate my extra milk to sick children in the NICU. <laughs> I was able to have a freezer full of milk when I returned to work, and I only eat pure organic food so that my baby only receives pure organic breast milk. Also, I've never had thrush, mastitis, cracked nipples, and nursing has never once caused me pain. <laughs> if it causes you pain, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> I stared at her in awe. Maybe awe is the wrong word. <laughs> I stared at her, seething with rage. <laughs> the reason I came to this group was because I thought it would be a safe place to talk about how breastfeeding can be a bitch. <laughs> how my nipples had never been so sore and cracked in my life. I wanted to say that every time I put my kid's nipple, or <laughs> put my nipple in my kid's mouth, I try not to scream out in agony. I wanted to talk about how sometimes I sneak a Starbucks. Because for the love of all that is holy, I have been feeding this child every two hours around the clock for the past seven weeks. And I need caffeine to do things, like shower and swallow food. <laughs> I became self-conscious, and I decided not to share. After the arrival of kids two and three, I joined a playgroup where we would occasionally go out to lunch. The perfect mother of this group asked our waitress, do you by chance have a gluten-free, egg-free, nut-free, sugar-free, aspartame-free, chemical-free, pesticide-free, meat-free, dairy-free, soy-free, hormone-free, food-free menu for my toddler? Are you kidding me, lady? <laughs> we are at Baker's frickin' Square. <laughs> this is the home of the lard crust pie. <laughs> I decided to be nice. I have children who suffer from allergies too, and I had a snack. I asked her if her child would like to share an orange I had brought. Her response, with a look of disgust on her face, was, is that orange organic? My orange wasn't even good enough for this mother. Meanwhile, my other two kids continued to suck down apple juice and eat ketchup packets until our french fries got here. <laughs> I think I sat at the wrong table. <laughs> then came preschool. This perfect mother was easy to spot. She looked gorgeous and trendy in her perfectly fitting skinny jeans, and her shoes were to die for. As in, I would have killed her for them. <laughs> when told her outfit was gorgeous, she said in return, oh thanks, I was worried I wouldn't be able to get into a size zero after my last baby was born. <laughs> I decided to up my time at the gym, I added yoga, I tried a colonic cleanse, and an all organic juice diet. I wanted to look special. Meanwhile, I back away from the cookie table, very, very slowly, partly out of embarrassment, but mostly because I could no longer feel my feet. You see, I had cut off all the circulation to most of my extremities due to the two pairs of Spanx and control top tights that I was wearing. <laughs> I wanted to look special too. <laughs> However, I had forgotten all about that when I decided to bake cookies for this event and I thought it was a good idea to try the first few trays out first just to make sure they were okay. After these experiences, I started to think more about the perfect mother. I'm fairly new to this parenting game, but I can already tell you that every mom listening today is perfect in the eyes of her kids. 
regardless of whether she possesses the mammary glands of a cow, <laughs> sends her child to Surrey Cruises Preschool, grows her own organic produce in a container garden on her balcony, or works out three times a day with Jillian Michaels. Your children already think you are perfect, and by loving your kids, you have already achieved the highest level of perfection to them, and who cares about anyone else? I am a mom of three kids between the ages of two and five, and I would be willing to bet they don't care how many pairs of Spanx I have to wear to fit into a dress. I bet they also don't care what percentage of food they eat is organic or if they reach developmental milestones months before their peers. But what they do care about is if I love them, protect them, care for them, play with them, hug them, read to them, listen to them, and talk with them. In their eyes, I am perfect. So are you. And that is all that matters. <laughs>